Hey guys, Gogs here, and welcome to my 6,000 subscriber special. We've been joined by one of the guys that's got, I'd say, one of the best smiles in Scottish football. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming on today, Gil. Pleasure, pleasure. And you. we're just going to ask a few fun questions and see what he's got to say. Go so, for it. Go for of course, it. Uh, on the 1st of April 2017, you became a dad, mm -hmm. and 24 hours later, you scored a goal at Wembley and won the AFL trophy with uh, Coventry. How did you manage to keep your focus? Yeah, it was um, it was a crazy weekend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, the, the manager at Coventry couldn't name a team until obviously he, he sort of found out what mm -hmm. was going going on. Um, and then basically the game was on Sunday mm -hmm. and we had to train so we trained fr Friday, yeah, Friday we trained and we went to travel down to London to visit the pitch in Wembley Saturday um, after, after the session and then Friday while I was in training I got like a signal saying well, she's gone into labour uh -huh. so I had to leave the training, jump in the car, go home, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it from, from like Friday afternoon, she was in Leven to the next, to the next day, about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, that's when Eden was born, so um, yeah, so I didn't train Saturday, because I was waiting and they were just, they were just keeping them informed what's going mm -hmm. on, and then we went back. Um, but of course, because you had a final to warm up for, yeah. where you not doing paces, but you were actually doing like sprints in the in the the farm. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was just I was just relaxed. I was just um, just like obviously excited. Yeah, definitely. To, um, to see her being born and stuff. So, but now I just my focus was obviously there, and I knew like I did down, and knew like I'd make it to oh. the final. So. And in the end, you now like everything went well. But my wife, she was amazing. So she, um, you know, being there, seeing her giving birth to Eden, just gave me like you know great motivation to just go to the final. And, and this is for her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. So as you play for Burundi, for the benefit of those at home who may want to follow your progress uh, on the journey to the African Cup of Nations. Could you describe how hectic your trek is from Scotland to Burundi and back? Yeah, the first time was quite like crazy. I think it was like nearly 30 hours um, to get where I needed to get and then coming back was about 25 hours. But the recent trips they've been um they've been decent so um, oh. they've managed to sort of um, accommodate for you. Yeah, make it make it a, a better like sort of journey from here to there so because it's what like three three flights two two boats who said who said two boats <laughs> <laughs> i made that up <laughs> that's nice. like my journey tomorrow yeah. <laughs> nice yeah it's probably like three three all together it's probably uh, six four to six flights going there coming back dedication but i, I respect that Gotta do what you gotta do. Excellent. <laughs> Quote that, frame it. <laughs> so, of course, because you play for Burundi, I'm, I'm wondering, is there anyone who plays for Burundi that could do a shift model? Yeah, yeah, we've got really talented boys. The, the, the difference is just, obviously nobody knows the, not many people know the nation, even Burundi exists. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, so, but they're really like talented boys who plays in, you know, in African leagues, um, mm -hmm. and they just need um, they just need a chance. They just need somebody to scout them, mm -hmm. you know, give them, give them a trial. And I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, if if, if some of them could come up here, they'd... I bet they'll try even harder than half the boys up here. Well, you know, obviously people come from different backgrounds, but oh, yeah. players and mother were like, you know. You know, they work hard and, and mm -hmm. you know, they don't take, you know, um, don't take much for granted. They don't, they don't take it for granted. But obviously, if, if those boys who come from my national teammates, if they were given this opportunity, yeah. 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 
So, unlike most of your current teammates, you've actually got an English Premier League goal to your name. <laughs> a fantastic finish from outside the box, by the way. Gotta YouTube that, I'll get it on the overlay. Uh, against Wigan. Thank you. <laughs> did, did, you did you record match of the day that night? Nah. No? Not really, I just... It was, um... The game was uh, Monday, Monday night football. Yeah. So, I, I, I don't know, obviously. Oh, right, aye, because it's match of the day, match of the day too. Yeah, yeah, so you they forget the Monday. Match of the day, but obviously, my family recorded the game, so I just, just watched it. Um, yeah, but just sit and just play it and just say, oh, let's see what this is like. Um, when, when it happened, a couple of times, but now it's been, it's been like, I think nearly six, five years, six years. So, um, could have had a... Need a better one today, that one in. Oh, that, that was, I, I was so hoping, because we had this arranged, I was so hoping you were scoring that, so I'd be like, look, look, look who we got in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, oh, was so unlucky, on your left foot as well? Yeah. Oh, it would have been techers if I went. One day. One day. What, one day. Who's the best player you've played alongside and, and against? So, like, alongside first. Um, what was it? Newcastle, there was some, like, Good players yeah. played in like you know top level World Cup, European Cup. <coughs> but for me, like talented wise, was Ben Afro. Oh yeah, uh, I've heard he's a talented boy. Yeah, he's very, he's yeah. yeah. He's like Let, let's leave it to that. <laughs> and uh, um, who's the best player you play against? Because of course you played. I mean, for me as a midfielder growing up, um, you know. You know, I, you know, was, I, had, I had good opportunities to play against, you know, the, against the top players. But for me, I would, um, as a midfielder growing up, obviously watching post calls. Oh yeah. So I said post calls. That today's game could arguably be this answer. But what is the strangest thing that's happened to you in your career? <laughs> Good question. Weird at the same time. What's the strangest thing that happened in my career? Yeah. When I got accepted to go actually, um, Academy. Into Coventry Academy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Was that, like, yeah. what was it like playing like, at Academy level compared to like up here? Because you've seen like the young boys playing the Andrew Cup. Yes. Yeah, it's you know different level, um, different expectation. At academy level, it's sort of like you know you're preparing players and you're producing and mm -hmm. training them, equipping them to be ready to step into the first team. So and first team is more demanding, more results. Mm -hmm. But academy is more developed. Fair enough. If you're in the pick and mix aisle of a sweet shop and could only choose three sweets. What would you choose and why? <laughs> I'm not really a... I'm not into sweets. No? Uh, but... I can't even think about sweets now. <laughs> Do you want me to go through the list? <laughs> go on then. Right, strawberry bonbons. Strawberry bonbons. Yeah? Strawberry laces. Now stick to strawberry bonbons. Oh, just, just strawberry bonbons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll go strawberry bonbons. <laughs> <laughs> you probably never tried them before. If you can make a five side team out of the players you played alongside in your career, who'd be in it and why? Five? Yeah. Well, a five a side team? Five a side team with you in the middle. <laughs> I'd say, um, my, um, my ex teammates at Coventry for a keeper. Mm -hmm. Lee Bird when when he had when he's on when he when he has a when he's on when he's on his day. Alright. Yeah, he's, he's got all the attribute. Centre back I say Colocini. Oh Fabrizio. Oh. Big fat. Um Oh. 
Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best intro I've ever had.